It was 1869 when great-grandfather Julius sailed to Japan aboard the ship, the Golden Age, to seek his fortune. It was a perilous voyage and the beginning of an adventure that would include love and fortunes won and lost across 150 years of wars, earthquakes, and economic transformation. Japan had just opened its doors to the West after 250 years of isolation. Warlords still ruled Japan with their bands of sword-bearing samurai. Julius arrived in Yokohama, a small settlement the Japanese shogun had established to keep an eye on those Westerners while also learning about their technology. It was in Yokohama that lighthouses, telegraph systems, and trains were first introduced to Japan. Julius worked odd jobs as baker, butcher, and bouncer. He helped a warlord modernize his army. He married Hiro, my Japanese great-grandmother, and started a stevedoring business called Helm Brothers that would create great wealth for the family. By the time I was born in Yokohama, almost a century later, most of that wealth had disappeared and my family was locked in a bitter feud. Many relatives were alcoholics. Working as a reporter in Japan for the Los Angeles Times, I was surprised to discover one day that many of my articles were strangely critical of Japan. When my wife and I decided to adopt two Japanese children, it suddenly became important to understand the source of my bitterness towards the country of my birth. In the years that followed, I interviewed over a hundred people. In search of one Japanese great-grandmother, I traveled to a small mountain village where samurai who had lost in battle seven centuries ago still lived with that shame. In search of my other Japanese great-grandmother, I discovered a distant cousin who was a Shinto priest for a famous Japanese shrine. I took a speedboat to a forgotten island in search of a woman, a member of the imperial family, whom my father had fallen in love with during the U.S. occupation after World War II. I traveled to the site of a prisoner of war camp where a great uncle had begun his five years of imprisonment. Understanding what happened to my family over that turbulent century helped me better understand myself. Yokohama Yankee is about that journey of self-discovery, a journey from one end of the Japanese archipelago to the other and across a century and a half of Japanese conflict and cooperation with the outside world. It was a journey that would change my life.